Yo, what up, everybody? It's Eclipse from Team Ruthless. And first and foremost, I want to shout out to the Damon X Mikey community for supporting the fight night last Friday. Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow Friday, tomorrow Friday, Friday night, we're doing the same thing, 8 o'clock Eastern. Um, gonna do it the same way. Gonna start on the PC, then I'll move to the Switch. Last week, we had I don't know how many players, but we did, we had more players on PC who showed up and more players on the Switch who showed up. So that's very dope. Um, we definitely had double the players of the, then yeah, definitely was double, double the amount we had um, prior, the week prior. So dope, and hopefully tomorrow it either just as good or this or better. So yeah, I definitely see you guys tomorrow. Looking forward to it. And in terms of a tournament, um, hopefully in a couple weeks I can uh, throw something together. And I know PC players have been hitting me up. They want a PC tournament. Um, I didn't think we had enough, but now I do think we have enough players and Switch players. I know you guys wanted a tournament too, and I, we've been had enough of that, and I was going to throw that next, but now that we have another more than enough PC players, I might do that next instead, but I'm thinking maybe, I'm thinking maybe, maybe for the anniversary, we'll do both. Maybe anniversary weekend. It'll be a year, I think, the, what y'all say, the 13th? It'll be a year that Damon X Machina has been out. So maybe, maybe we do both, man. I'm going to throw that in the air. I'm going to throw that in the air. We got like a week. <laughs> we got like a week to plan it. But we gonna, I'm going to throw that in the air. Uh, tell me what you guys think. And maybe I'll do Saturday Switch Tournament, Sunday PC Tournament, or or vice versa. We'll see. Um, but yeah, let's definitely do it in... Um, I'll still probably do fight night on Friday, and we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I, again, I'll hit you guys up. I'll be in the Discord. Uh, pay attention to the ads and whatnot to the news. Um, this time, I'll make sure I post the tournament on my channel. I didn't do that last tournament. So this time, I'll make sure to post the info and the sign up on my channel, YouTube, and the Reddit. Um, moving on from that, I wanted to talk about Gundam in... I don't gun so if those who don't play Gundam in my channel and those who do play Gundam, if y'all don't know, one vs ones has been all but confirmed for the game. Which I think is cool. I, I think it's dope. It, am I begging for one vs one? No. I'd rather have the spectator mode. I kinda I hope that comes in at the same time, if not before um one v one do. I I'd rather have that in the game than two or uh, one verse ones, but cool. I think I think one verse one is dope, and I, and I liked it a lot in verses. It wasn't um, it was cool sometimes just to get in a quick game, jump in, do a one v one, do a couple matches, and then bounce. Or it was just something that I think it was a cool mode, man. I, I and I don't think I think my problem with um the community in one v ones is I don't get why y'all don't want it, and it's a lot of people. Seems to be a big, maybe not a big majority, but maybe a a, um, a very vocal, <laughs> a very vocal few do not want one versus one at all. And the, the argument I get a lot is the game wasn't made for 1v1s. And I think that's a poor argument, to be honest. Smash Bros. is literally a party game, yet we're playing, there are people all around the world are playing one versus one. It's one of the biggest competitive tournaments in the world. Like, it's... Smash Bros. 1v1 is like, it's huge, and the game's not built for it. So, I think that's a poor argument, I feel like that, that way about a lot of games. Uh, shoot, even MOBAs have 1v1 modes, and those games are built for 5v5. And I think, and someone did uh, bring another argument, and this one makes a little bit more sense to me, whereas you're more afraid that it might split the community in terms of like, uh, finding games and matches online and I think that's a better argument but I still don't think it's a big enough argument to not include it in the game especially if people are asking for it and that's another thing I don't get a lot of people are saying like everybody who wants 1v1s da 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 I haven't personally I haven't seen anybody ask for 1v1s I, I, I lurk in the discord I lurk on the reddit I see a lot I follow a lot of people who play Gundam on Twitter and unless 
I'm missing something. I haven't seen anybody mention 1v1s whatsoever. So I don't know why people are saying everybody has 1v1s gonna regret it. Um, I don't know who everybody is. That's all I'm saying. And maybe they are. Maybe I just don't see it. Maybe it's the Japanese community. I really don't know. But um, yeah, I, I just don't get it. And I don't think I don't get the arguments against it. Now I do think the game is best played 2v2. The, again, the game is more centered around it. Okay, that, that only makes sense. But I do. I do welcome one v ones, man, and I think it's gonna be a fun mode. And it's—I don't think it's something people should take seriously. Literally, you're gonna be fighting Bales and Master Gundams, and you might see some, yeah, Barbados all day, every day, and and yeah, like I, I still think it'll be fun though. I, and I think I still think people will be surprised on who people on what Gundams are actually gonna be viable in one v one situations. There's gonna be some bull crap, yeah. And again, I don't think it should be taken, taken seriously. If anything, use it as a training mode to learn your suit and learn counters against other suits. So when you go in 2v2s, you'll have more a more clue of what some of these suits do. And like if you're afraid of using this suit in 2v2s, maybe you want to take it to 1v1. But just again, a lot of people people are saying, well, they're gonna that's gonna create bad habits. Yeah, but I mean <laughs> This is a competitive game. Bad habits either make you or break you. And y'all got to either learn to punish these bad habits or you got to learn to get rid of these bad habits. It's just like any other game. Like, the, if players are serious enough, it will iron themselves. It, the bad habits will iron themselves out. And there will just be, there's going to be a gap with players regardless. There's a reason why the same players in competitive games are always on top because they're constantly getting better they're constantly getting rid of their bad habits and that's going to be the same for this game i know it's niche and if people are afraid that i don't know what people are afraid of i'm gonna be real <laughs> i don't know what people are afraid of man like just let people play the game how they want to play it like if they're gonna they're adding a mold everybody wins man just keep it out of ranked that's how i see it and which they're doing they're only doing player matches so i don't get the whole I don't get the whole argument against it. Like, just just throw it in there, man. Just it, my advice to players who who one v one is, it's not gonna be taken seriously. Don't take it seriously. Have fun and use it as a training method to kind of find, sharpen your skills in terms of movement, learning suits, what they actually do, and finding counters. So when you go in two v two, you figure it out. This game has one v one situations. It will help you in these 1v1 situations. And I know a lot of players keep saying, well, if you're in a 1v1 situ situation, you're not doing that great. Sometimes you are in a 1v1 situation. It, it could be 5, 10 seconds. Your teammate might have somebody in a combo while the guy who you just killed just respond. So you're not going to shoot at your teammate who has somebody in a combo because you don't want to fuck up his combo. So you might have to handle this dude who just spawned back. You're in a 1v1 situation. What are you going to do? Now you kind of know what to do because you've been practicing 1v1s. I'm going to knock this guy down or whatever. You're going to lock this guy down real quick. Get a quick combo off. Or I know he's going to dash me or attack me because he's this close. Like a lot of that stuff you will pick up because of 1v1s. And it might create some bad habits, but that's any game, man. <laughs> that's really any game, yo. But yeah, that's all I had to say, man. Y'all be safe. I'm out. Damon X miking up. Fight night tomorrow, 8 Eastern. I don't remember if I said that. But yeah, same time. We'll do it next Friday and the Friday after that until we can anymore. And hopefully um, I'll start opening this, this up to other games. Um, I'm thinking about trying to do a Gundam fight night. Granted, I don't know if I know that many players playing yet, but whatever. We'll... We might start doing a Gundam fight night, maybe on Thursday nights, and I'm hoping to add spectator mode. I'm I'm really hoping it because I'm trying I'm gonna try to do some bootleg commentating for and host some tournaments for that too. But I definitely want to wait till they do a spectator mode, and I really hope we get that. I really hope we get that before we get what we want. But yeah, y'all be safe. I'm out. Deuces. Hey, I just wanted to do a, a follow-up too on my Maxi Boost on Gundam recommendation for new players. And a lot of people came to me and they had good criticism on 
on why newer players shouldn't really use 1500 suits and to be honest i i couldn't help but to agree and admit that i i might have been wrong but that was just how i got good at the game and again i'm pretty sure i said it in the video but that's how i learned to play so in full boost i started with I think I tried to use, you know, the Gundam Wing suits, but I ended up using Legal to actually play and practice, and that's how I really got good. I thought he was a simple and easy suit to use, and I feel like if there's a couple 1500s like that, but a lot of uh, players uh, who've been playing longer than me uh, say that a lot of 1500 suits have a higher skill gap. So, yeah, at the end of the day, man, just figure out how you want to play and how, what you want to learn and, and use whatever suit you want, man. There's 185 suits and don't ever try to, like, I would, again, this is just recommendations on what helped me get better at the game so I could use the suits I wanted to use later. Um, but yo, it's your, your $60. Use whatever suit you want, man. Just have fun and you'll get better with time. Just don't give up. That's the main thing. Don't give up, keep playing. Even when you lose, keep playing, you'll get better. You'll get better and better. And every time you play against um, somebody who's probably decimated you, you'll notice every time. As long as you keep trying, you'll get better and better, man. And you'll, maybe you'll eventually you'll beat them. Um, <laughs> I've literally improved in fighting the same opponent over and over again in less than three matches. And that's how it happens, man. This game is very... Um, it's a great game in terms of uh, the technical aspect of it and you know how important movement and all that stuff is it's really it's really a dope game um, but yeah keep trying guys and I wasn't trying to lead anybody in the wrong direction um, I did see some people say I'm gonna use lower less suits because it's working but again it just use whatever works for you man everybody has different ways of learning in this game I feel like even though this game has been out for a while. I don't think there's a proper way to teach the game. A lot of it you gotta figure out on your own. And some people ways may be different than others. But yeah, that's all I have to say. You guys be safe. I'm out. Deuces.